Today's first impressions video is on Scorn. It's a horror type game with possible combat and FPS features later on down the line. I'm not actually that far in because it made my brain melt and I got very, very confused. This is a game that gives you precisely zero direction at all and the puzzles are quite difficult for a simpleton like myself. However, I can say that the game looks incredible and it really sets the tone um, and the, the mood of just confusion and perplexness and fear. It does a very good job at what it does. It's just probably not a game for me and that's a very sort of subjective thing, right? I can appreciate its game mechanics and how it works. It's just not something I would probably normally play myself. So do bear that in mind when we go through the video. What I will say is that the options menu is pretty good, which we'll have a look at in a second, and then we'll get straight into the gameplay. Settings are not bad. When I say not bad, I mean that there's a lot here, but optimization is definitely an issue. Um, my system is struggling a little bit every now and again. It stutters. Um, like for the most part, it works really well, and I have got everything cranked up to max, but every now and again, there will be a stutter when you're walking through. So, Optimization could still do with maybe a little bit of touching up. Outside of that though, you get your display mode, your resolution. You can have Fidelity FX if you've got a AMD card. You've got sharpness, motion blur on or off, V-Sync on or off, maximum frame rate. Overall quality only goes to high, but it does this really annoying thing that scrolls through. Personal pet peeve in games of mine. Um, you've got your visual effects, post-processing, shadows, textures, and AA. Your audio, um, which I'll show you in a second, because it does this weird thing where you've got to hit the right mouse button in order to exit each option to enter another one. I don't know why. I don't know why it doesn't just have an apply settings or whether it, you know, just, just let me click on things. Each It's annoying and it shouldn't be like, I, I, it just annoys me. But your audio settings, you've only got the master volume um, there and the sound mix. You don't have any ambient. You don't, you, you've got no sort of separation there. It doesn't look like there's any voice acting in the game anyway. So it's not a huge issue. But yeah, the other thing with the volume as well is you only need to turn it down a little bit and you get no sound. Like it turns it down to like zero at half. It's, it's really weird. Like the scaling doesn't seem amazing. Language options, just your language again. It doesn't seem like there's any voice acting or anything, so I'm not seeing any need for a subtitles. And then you can just set back to default. Honestly, there could be a few more um, accessibility options and just a few more options in general. And for the love of Christ, get rid of this whole pressing the right, right mouse button to get out of each separate option. It's just annoying. Um, what I will say is that it does switch between controller and mouse and keyboard very, very seamlessly, which is nice. But you're only really probably going to want the mouse and keyboard for the options. It's definitely a game that feels more suited to controller. Okay, I am happy to report that the game doesn't take a long time to load in at all, which is really nice. But this is what you're presented with. You're given a, an opening cin cinematic that doesn't really tell you anything and then you just kind of dumped in this area and you, you kind of just left to sort of explore and see what you can find and you, you can't run so you, you're stuck to walking you can't do anything unless there is a highlighted area which i'll show you in a minute and you're just kind of left to sort of take in this very dark very dingy very subtly beautiful sort of world that is kind of around you and then you've just kind of left to work shit out really um certain stands and things have um interaction that you can do and you basically have to figure out what it is that you are to do so you can move like this crane for example and then you can try and use it and it will try and grab something now there's nothing there so you know that you've got to basically get something from up there and you've got these railroads and you've got to try and make the railroads line up and get the right railroad for the right cart and you can kind of formulate what it is you're supposed to do but you don't 
actually know for sure. And if you like games that don't hold your hand, and if you like games that seemingly don't really have any direction and the story is told to you through the gameplay, you're really going to like this. However, this is the main reason that I don't like horrors, because I just get more frustrated than scared and nervous. I'm like, I just want to play. I want to know what I'm supposed to do. I want to know why I'm doing it. And I think that, more than anything, is what's putting me off this game. Is that I don't know why I'm doing it. I don't know who I am. I don't know where I am. I don't know any backstory. There is nothing that's explained. I'm just a corpse that has apparently come to life and crawled into this thing. <laughs> and I am, as a result, just confused and a little bit bewildered. So, clearly I need something in there to slice it in half, I guess. But again, I don't know. Now, what is really cool is the way that it does each of these interactions. So, it's based off of my body, my blood. I've got this weird gizmo on me that allows me to access certain parts of this apparently living factory. Um, so, for example, here you will see I've got like a, a stick thing that goes in and then I use the uh, the hand to open it up but it's not going to work for whatever reason so I need to go to this side to unlock it but on the whole I, I genuinely don't really know what's happening I'm just kind of going for it and that that's really all I've got for you because I'm not very far in the game I don't know what I'm doing. I'm as lost as confused as ever. And I, I've got no direction or no point to doing it. I'm just kind of doing it because I'm kind of feeling like I'm told to, I guess. What I will say is the animations are very, very cool. Like the way that everything moves, the way that everything is structured together, it's very seamless. It's very flowing. And I like that. I would just like it more if I knew what I was supposed to be doing and which order I was supposed to be doing in. That's very creepy. But there you have it. This is Scorn. It came out in October. And it, it's a bit weird. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Ciao, ciao, guys.